they pose as a national resistant movement with the intention to liberate what's so-called Palestine. And I think this is Hamas first lie. Avant de vous laisser continuer à découvrir ce qu'est le Hamas, hein, qui est raconté par le fils de l'un des fondateurs, je crois qu'on ne peut pas faire mieux. En tout cas, ça sera toujours plus fiable que Mathilde Panot, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, David Guiraud, enfin euh, tous les, les pro-Hamas, hein, les, les, les insoumis, qui sont bien évidemment obligés pour, euh, pour, pour ne pas vexer leur clientèle musulmane et antisémite, bien sûr, euh, de dire que le pogrom est un acte de résistance. Le pogrom au sens large, le concept même du pogrom et du génocide est un acte de résistance. Hitler était d'ailleurs un des plus grands résistants connus dans l'histoire moderne. On peut soutenir le, la cause palestinienne quand on est ignorant, quand on n'a pas la véritable histoire de, ces, de cette terre, quand on n'a pas l'histoire de la théologie, de l'archéologie, de l'histoire militaire, quand on avale sans mâcher la propagande infâme qui est diffusée bien sûr par une ouma énorme, 20 ou 20 ou 100 fois plus nombreuse que les pauvres juifs qui essayent de diffuser la vérité. On peut, on peut, voilà, c'est pas méchant, il y en a même parmi ces gens qui pensent qu'ils ne sont pas du tout antisémites. Ils pensent qu'ils sont juste antisionistes, ils s'occupent de la politique intérieure d'Israël, parce que c'est pas normal que l'islam n'ait pas 100% de cette terre judéo-chrétienne. C'est pas normal, l'islam doit tout avoir. Ils ne doivent pas laisser un centimètre au peuple millénaire et historique de cette terre. C'est normal, ça s'appelle la soumission, les gars. Mais de là à traiter Israël de nazi et finalement considérer que le Hamas, c'est Jean Moulin, franchement, il faut une sacrée dose d'antisémitisme, de haine, de bêtise et de lobotomisation, bien sûr, à mes amis de l'association des putatliques islamo-collabo soraliennes, la fameuse APIX qui va devenir célèbre, croyez-moi. Because they are not a resistant movement. Hamas is a religious ideological movement raging a war, a holy war, against a race, against a nation. They are not a political party. If they were a political party, then they would believe in political borders. But they want a global state. So there is no such a thing as Palestine, the Hamas movement. And all the pro-Palestine group, which of course they have the right to express themselves, I'm not against freedom of speech, that everyone have their own independent opinion, but unfortunately they are given directly and indirectly support to a savage group that just committed genocide. <laughs> ولا صهيوني على وجه هذه الأرض عقيدتنا في قتالكم أننا سنبيدكم على بكرة أبيكم ولن نبقي منكم أحدا اقتلوهم حيث ثقفتموه ما فيش نعرفش حدة وين ما بنستطيع سنقاوز عليك باليهود ومن والاهم اللهم عليك بالأمريكان ومن والاهم اللهم أحصهم عددا واقتلهم بددا ولا تغادر منهم أحدا against entire communities. They wiped out everything in their way, killing children, women, raping, burning, systematically, ethnically cleansing a race only because they are Jewish. The Palestinian children, the Palestinian society has been hijacked by these criminals and anybody who takes side, their side is participating in their crime. This is my answer to those people. And for the civilian casualties, etc., you know, first of all, Hamas is using, and it's very clearly, it's a fact that Hamas used civilians as human shields. It's a fact. Then it's a fact that Israel call and warn civilians to evacuate buildings before they strike them. But in the meantime, Hamas put roadblocks to stop civilians from evacuating to safe zones. Hamas single misfire killed hundreds of refugees taking shelter at a hospital, and they blamed Israel. What are we talking about here? Israel is a democracy. Israel is accountable. 
Israel is not thirsty for the Palestinian blood. We have a fundamental problem and we need to stop blaming Israel. We invited this upon our heads and the rest of the world. If they don't know the reality on the ground, it's better than they shut up. And I say it's enough of Hamas. It's enough of the corrupt leaderships. They are killing our people, misleading them to hell is enough of that. We don't want Palestinian state. I don't want Palestinian state. Palestinian children need education. They need security. They need life. This is what they need. They don't need another corrupt Arab. Those raising the Palestinian flag, where were you when ISIS was launched in the name of Islam and beheaded tens of thousands of Arabs in Libya, Syria, and Iraq? Why didn't you take it to the streets and raise their flags and condemn the terror and call for a ceasefire? Where were you when Arab dictators and terrorists killed hundreds of thousands of Arabs in Syria and Libya? Why didn't you take it to the streets then and raise the Syrian and Libyan flags and condemn the terror and call for a ceasefire? Where were you in the last decade when Saudi Arabia, backed by other Arab countries, killed and starved out more than 400,000 Yemenis my country. I didn't see any of you take to the streets or raise the Yemeni flag or condemn the terror or call for a ceasefire. This calls for some self-reflection. When millions of Arabs are slaughtered by other Arabs, you say absolutely nothing. But when 7,000 Arabs are killed by Jews defending their right to exist, you revolt. You get angry. You raise the flag. You condemn the terror. You call for a ceasefire. You turn the world upside down. Why is that? Why were you so silent then, but so loud now? Thank you.